Hello, Silver Grayscale here, and welcome to the finale of Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Before we go and face Dracula, however, this power! Has Dracula been revived? Right, so. Ruin was sealing Dracula away, so when we destroyed him. Strange. Even Bruner's seals would be uh, would easily be uh, would be easily broken by Dracula's power, and yet perhaps Dracula still hasn't revived completely. Perhaps. Either way, our only choice is to defeat him, and I prefer the easiest way to do that. All right, let's go. This is your final battle. Don't do anything foolish and get killed. You hear? Let's go. Again, any quests that you want to do, do them now, or do them in the uh, New Game Plus, doesn't matter. Master Jonathan, is it true that Dracula's been revived? Yeah, it's true. Oh, well, what will we do? Calm down, it will be alright, we'll handle it somehow. Yeah, no problem. And we will sell some stuff to, uh... Uh, his name is currently escaping me and I hate it. Uh, Vincent. I'm gonna keep some of these things for an eventual, like, New Game Plus showcase, basically. But I would recommend... Preparing as fully as you can. Your magical tickets may not be able to help you, but it's still something. Any kind of equipment you want to get, get them now. And we're just going to fully heal there. And yes, on the map you can see that there's an opening in the entrance. We will take a look at that in the next episode, which is going to be the bonus episodes. And before we climb the stairs to the throne room... Let's see if the sisters has anything to say to us. Uh, no, they're not. They don't have anything. But you can see here that the painting has been completely destroyed. We can't enter it. So yeah, we are as prepared as we're ever going to be. We have the vampire killer. And we have other powerful boosts. Drop down here to fill out this part of the map and get our final health increase. Get a foie gras there. And there is our final magic increase. And we'll get some money up here as well. And of course... Always check before the throne room. We get the speed up. And we get probably the best item for Charlotte. Now, I bought a record, as you saw there. So let's give Dracula some PTSD before we go in, shall we? This has been quite the journey. We have seen our two heroes bicker, but also get together a lot. They have both grown. Uh, uh, Jonathan has gone from an arrogant young man to a very capable vampire hunter. Charlotte has become an even more powerful sorceress. They are the only two 
who can defeat. Dracula. Empowered by the spirit of Simon Belmont. Let's go. Dracula. I can't believe this power. No wonder he's called the Lord of Darkness. Oh, so you're ignoring me? Turn and face me! You will not touch Lord Dracula. This time, let's fight for real. Enough with this sideshow. Why don't we show him our combined power? A death and Dracula joint attack? That was never mentioned in any books I've read. Well, there's two of us, so I guess it makes things even. No problem, bring it on! Let's fully charge up Jonathan and go to town. We have already gotten uh, death in our book, but we don't have Dracula. Dracula fights like he usually does. Teleports around the room and fires any kind of projectiles at you, be it darkness orbs or fireballs. Meanwhile, while you're desperately trying to do this, Death is trying to dive bomb you from the uh, from the roof. And yeah, that bad moon attack is essentially a da uh, a dash attack that Dracula uses with his bat shape. Of course, we can use um, Divine Storm if we so desire. Boost Jonathan whenever. And let's use Divine Storm to get rid of those sights. And... Let's fill up on those. But yeah, it doesn't matter whose health bar you bring down first in this fight. It doesn't change. It's not an Ornstein smoke kind of just uh, kind of deal here. Just bring down whoever you want. Either you can bring down death and attempt to avoid Dracula's attacks or you attempt to avoid death and you bring down Dracula. One or the other. And yeah, as you can see, our magical tickets do nothing in here. We are trapped, and it's a battle to the death. Either Dracula dies, or we die. Case in point! Of course, I can't just stylishly kill Dracula without dying myself. That's fucking great. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I forgot to save after Bruner. Uh, be right back. Oh, real quick. This is an attack he never used. He turns into a painting and flies around. That's all there is to it. You can still hurt him. He doesn't do more damage to you. It is just the only way he moves from his this, uh, his chosen spot. Okay, let's try that again. Death, you are extremely in the way. Uh, 
Okay, I pressed the jump button, but again, Bluetooth controllers. I don't know why people get so happy about them. I sure as hell don't. I thought he was going to jump and uh, teleport throughout the entire room, but no. Okay, f the fireballs. Ouch. I... Missed death wanted to. So we're gonna divine storm. Okay, we're still pretty good on health. Okay, we're no longer good on health. And, you know, of course, with it being Dracula, uh, be ready for a second phase. To which all I also want to say, uh, be absolutely ready to, uh... Save as many health items as you possibly can. So yeah, you want to move all the way to the other side of the battlefield when he does that. There we go! That was the first phase. Take some water there. Behold, Dracula's second form. True Dracula. If there's any time in this fight that you're going to eat through your healing potions, it is this spectacular fight face. Okay, we can easily dodge through that. And then he does it again, but I need to heal, so... We're gonna make sure that we get up to a pretty good amount of health. Stay close to him, so you can whip him. Here, though, start with Divine Storm, and then bring out Charlotte... And attack with her. This is just a matter of surviving until he pulls back. That's the only time we will br be bringing out Charlotte in this fight. Because it is required. You cannot, no matter how fast you think you are, survive that attack on your own. Plus, the Divine Storm knocks it back a good amount uh, for you to see exactly where Charlotte will be going. Ow. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course you're going back. To the background. 
If you're not fast enough, those claws will crush you and it's an instant game over. Yes, that attack sucks, but he falls. Too bad, pal. As long as we're here, you won't be revived. Still, that was an impressive display of impromptu teamwork. <sighs> Say what you will. But I can see it. One day my power will be fully revived. Fully or not, you'll n you're never ever gonna win. I look forward to seeing who will have the last laugh. And he melts away in the sunlight. Which, according to the book, he actually never did, but... Semantics. It's something they created for the, the movies. But Dracula's castle crumbles in the way we want it to crumble. It's all over. Yeah. We sure caused a lot of trouble. How can we make up for it? As the older sister, I accept full responsibility. With that, I must ask a favor of you two. No, you can't take all the blame. Loretta, be silent, please. Look, it's all settled now. If we keep quiet, there's no problem. Right? I... I suppose. I can't allow that. Well done, both of you. Eric, well, I didn't make a promise. Father, is it truly you? Yes, my dear. Forgive me. Stella, you seem to have worried the most in all this. No, father, it's an older sister's duty to. Yes, but still, don't overdo your role, okay? I'm truly glad I could see you both at the moment of my death. Live for all you're worth. And you, Jonathan, Charlotte, I truly am grateful. Father! Don't go! Father! Father! He passed on. Thank you, Eric, for everything. Stella, forgive me. You tried so hard for my sake. I'm going to become stronger. I will try hard so you'll never have to worry again. You need not always work so hard. That's right. Eric said that himself, didn't he? Whatever you do, don't overdo it. Jonathan, for you, trying harder might be a good thing. <laughs> sure, no problem. Why can't you learn to just let things be? I mean, a kid like you... Excuse me, you two. Forgive me, all of you. I can see I've caused you a lot of worry, but I'm alright now. Oh no, I forgot! What? About Vincent! Uh-oh. Quickly, we gotta find him, Charlotte! Right. Loretta, let's help them. Yes, Stella. Huh? Wait a second! Hey! I'm over here! And with that heartfelt reunion between the, uh, the, uh, the twins, and of course Vincent being the butt, the butt of all jokes, that is the end of Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Unfortunately, yeah, it's a bit glitched here. So, in order to not have everyone have seizures, we're going to skip this. And yeah. Now that I have played... And yeah, as you can see, we have unlocked boss rush mode, co-op mode is already there, shop mode, it's how you get items you might have 
sold. And of course, you know, clear data to do New Game Plus and other things. But yeah, uh, guess we can sit in sound mode and have Simon's theme play in the background as I discuss the project. Honestly? Now that I've played all three DS games, I can still say that they're all equally as good, but Portrait of Ruin has something special. It essentially lets you play a classic, like, Metroidvania, like, Symphony of the Night-style Metroidvania as kind of a Belmont mixed with a non-Belmont. Plus, I like the whole teamwork mechanic between the two heroes, and I do love the fact that Dracula and Death, probably the two most biggest, uh, like, probably the two people who have appeared the most in every Castlevania game, to actually work together like that. That's really, really cool. But... Out of the DS games, this is probably... In my opinion... Like, in terms of story, it's probably, like, my least favorite one. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the stories are great, but... Like, Order of Ecclesia, in my opinion, has the best story, but I still love the Dawn of Sorrow story because of, like, the immense nostalgia I feel for it. Uh, but this is still a fantastic game. And now that it's available, like, everywhere on every mainline console, mainly, like, uh, Steam, Switch, uh, I think PS5 has it as well. Check them out! But yeah, next up, I have two uh, bonus videos in mind. The first one is going to be about the Nest of Evil, the uh, place that we unlocked for getting 888% of the map rate uh, unlocked. And we're also going to take a look at New Game Plus. And then, in the next bonus video after that, we're going to look at the extra gameplay modes. So yeah. If you don't care about that, then I will see you for our next Let's Play, which is going to be the... Uh, uh, which is going to be this year's Halloween... Uh, October project, I'm very certain. Unless I can sneak in a small game bef between now and then. But if I can't, I will see you guys at the start of October for the next Let's Play. But if I can, I will see you very soon. Regardless, I will be seeing you shortly. Take care. And fare thee well, everyone. And once again, thank you so, so much for watching this Let's Play. And I do hope that more people are checking out these games now that they're not locked on the Nintendo DS and emulation. Bye!